Hello pen testers this is punit from wal machines back again with another video and in this video we are going to solve our challenge lab fun with request smuggling in this lab you will get to know about ha proxy http request smuggling before we dive into the solution let's understand what is http request smuggling http request smuggling is like injecting http request into http means the attacker send multiple http request into single http request manipulate content length and transparent coding headers making two targets request and two separate response from the backend server then we can say http request smuggling happen let's understand with an example so as you can see in the example in get method guest request and i have passed the get method admin request in the same http request so injecting http request into http now let's consider in front end server will not allow this request and back end server pass this request and if we get a separate output then we can say http request smuggling vulnerability happen so as you can see we get 200 okay for both request so we can say this is http request smuggling vulnerability so the lab is based on ha proxy request smuggling attack and that has assigned the cv2021 40346 the vulnerability cv2021 40346 is an integer overflow vulnerability that makes it possible to conduct an http request smuggling attack so this attack allows an advisory to smuggle http request to the backend server without proxy server being aware of it so we have backend server gunicon and the front end server or proxy server is ha proxy the smuggle request have various impacts depending on ha proxy's configuration and backend web server configuration such as bypassing security control including any acl defined in ha proxy gaining unauthorized access to the sensitive data executing unauthorized command or modifying data in this lab an http request smuggling attack to bypass acl rule that are defined by the ha proxy so we will access the lab to hit admin request as given a hint and it will give 403 access so our challenge is to access admin and get the flag So let's see the practical. So you will get to know how we can perform HA proxy HTTP request smuggling. So for the practical, visit wallmachines.com, and uh, this is the website. So click on login. So I have already login, and go to mission. Here you can see fun uh, with request smuggling. so let's open in new tab so this is the lab just open it so this is the lab where you can see the get request as you can see over here uh, i have already provided the hint so you can see admin is a vnm admin let's try and hit the vnm admin request and you can see where we get the 403 forbidden so now let's uh, bypass uh, vnm admin and get the flag so let's capture this request into bob shoot so interception on refresh this page and send to this repeater so here we will send the uh, following special crafted request and uh, see the response in bob shoot so let's uh, copy and paste it over here send uh, and uh, it is uh, like a two content length header one is 60 and one is a uh, 0 aa and send okay so the content length header is updated 72 so we need to uncheck the con content length and uh, update the content length with 60 so let's send and it is showing like 200 okay normal request also in uh, in the response you can see the bad request 
and 403xs. So we can see that uh, this is the uh, HTTP request smuggling. Now we will update the content line zero and send the request. So let's update the content line zero and uh, send the request. So in this request, the get request or get guest request is parsed with uh, 400 bad response. Also, get a VNM admin request is passed with the 403 access. So, we can say that this is a request smuggling attack. So, now let's understand what happened inside the HA proxy. So, there are two phases to pass the request. One is initial phase and second is further processing that mainly focus on content length header. So, pay attention to the content length 0 AAA header. So, it is simply stored in its uh, STX block structure in phase 1 of processing where it is uh, processed like any other straightforward header because the structure only allows for 8 bit of the header name length which uh, should be less than 256 characters. This content length 0 AAA header that we have passed the name length of 270 bytes. In result, an unsigned integer overflow and it is recorded in STX blocks. The specific content length header value 60 passed by HA proxy, which utilizes it as a, the body length remaining byte from the packet sent to the backend. It completes the phase 1 by reading and storing the body. Now let's move on to the second step. When iterating through the STX blocks array, scan the 14 character to acquire the name and treat it as a genuine content length header. It reads its value which is 0 and add the string content length 0 when constructing and to be forward to the request. Next, it encounters the content length 60 header but just ignore it and it will pass the content length 0 and the second uh, request whatever we have passed. Now we will update the content line 26. Why content line 26? The get VNM admin request with H header count is 26. As you can see in the red text, this count is 26. Don't forget to mention CRLF slash R and slash N. Now why are we adding line H in the header? The reason for including the header H line for keeping request valid. The backend does not expect HTTP request line H header inside the header section. The header causes the request start line to be parsed as just the H header's value and making the request valid. Omitting the host header from the above request and avoid the duplicate host header of the smuggled request as the second request already has a host header. So the request concatenate with the post method request and double the CRLF. You can see over here in the edge header, I have passed the get request. This edge header request will be discarded. Get VNM admin and the host header will pass along with the post method request. This is the reason the smuggle request is processed by the backend and return the HTTP response. The backend understand this is the entire one request and it is requested by the HA proxy. So we will get the VNM admin response. Let's see in the challenge lab so you will get the better clarity. So we are on our practical so lab challenge let's uh, send the VNM admin just copy and check VNM admin so it is showing 403. Now let's capture the request into Bubsuit and update the content line. So let's update the content line 26 and send the request. So as you can see it is showing 200 OK request and uh, in the uh, downside you can see the VNM admin request as well. So this is the request all pass. So VNM admin request is also passed and get the flag. So our flag is VNM uh, well machines admin is the SecOps. This is all about HA proxy HTTP request smuggling attack where I have sent multiple requests like a post method guest request. In the same request get method VNM admin request change the content length and in result we have exploit the vulnerability. You can try HTTP request smuggling challenge on our platform wellmachines.com. Also you can get the payload from our github. 
I will provide the link in description box. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you like, then share with your infosec friends. Subscribe to our channel for more CV exploit related videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.